I give you my opinion on the first time I've ever seen this actual machine. It's um, it doesn't have the sliding plate on top of it to make this section a um, sliding uh, crosscut saw, but it, it has some really interesting things. Now it does have it does have a little thing here, uh, which is normally in that position that will stop lock and then when you pull that's what stays it's very simple engineering special bearings that are uh, looks like cylindrically ground to run on drill rod which is embedded in a casting here which is heavily webbed uh, very very cool the difference of this to American sauce is Paramatic, Delta, General Canada you know, the, the, the basic essential saw, that even a saw stop is still component, is a cabinet saw. This one went just a little further and did it solid castings to below this so that all the mechanisms are within a cast body. And so, in this case, there's only this component fitted. These bearings are bolted on and pinned. And every single bearing on this thing is made on an eccentric cam so it can all be laid in including this so there's a bottom running bearing and it's you know it's pretty decent also has grooves for the table and you can open two inches horizontally for dado stacking molding heads uh, it is hollowed out in the bottom side of this table to allow the bearing pack to come up and with a 12 inch blade it's three and three quarters of an inch and the rise and fall covers that all the way it does have a real riving knife capability one that is a splitter that actually travels with the blade very robust nicely made there's a little bit of sawdust but you know that gets stuck on it here and there but it looks like the cavity itself would easily take um a larger blade uh, it's been ground out here what I suspect is maybe it's the same table as the 10 inch but maybe I'm wrong maybe it's a little bigger but it looks like the casting under here there's just a little quarter inch you could just do a careful grinding out of that which would increase this to a 14 inch saw then you probably you'd be, you'd be uh, four and three quarters four and three quarters depth of cut on a little I saw and then I maybe put a 5 horsepower on it. I haven't looked at it, but it's a Brooks motor. So anyway, I'll show you more of it. And the sort of subtle differences in the way this company, Burstream, which this is a real Burstream saw, 1964. Uh, you know, it was bought out in 1957. And the designers, Mr. Barrows and Mr. Green, worked for Wykin for a good 10 years. So this is the epitome of some of the development design work that came out of Leicester, at least in the design uh, drafting room, which was always at Leicester, as was the pattern maker school. Anyway, hope you enjoyed these longer format ones. All my audience was complaining, so I thought I'd try. If you could comment at what, what kind of the kinds of things you like to do, I'd never sure. And uh, thanks for watching.